Does Genesis declare that God created the sea mammals and the birds, but not the land mammals? Does it say that God created the sea mammals before he created the land mammals? Well, if you carefully read through Genesis chapter 1, it does use the Hebrew verb bara, which means to create something brand new that never existed before for the birds and the sea mammals, but does not use that word for the land mammals. But here's a distinction. On creation day five, the text is speaking about God creating birds generically and sea mammals generically. When you get in creation day six, it's not talking about all land mammals. It's speaking about three subcategories of land mammals, the three subcategories that were most crucial for assisting human beings and launching civilization. The short-legged land mammals, a reference to the rodents, and two different kinds of long-legged land mammals, the herbivores and the carnivores. And so Creation Day 6 is not speaking about God creating the first land mammals. It's jumping ahead to three subcategories of specialized land mammals that God created so that human beings could launch civilization, which is all in perfect accord with the established fossil record for the history of animals on the earth. And if you want to read more about this, you'll find the details in my book, Navigating Genesis.